Hey guys, this is going to be an interesting one, and we have the square root of x times the square root of x times square root of x is equal to 128, and we have to figure out the value of the x. So we have a square root on the left side, so we are trying to get rid of the square root, so we're going to take the power of 2 on each side, and that way we can get rid of the outer square root in here, so we'll have x times square root of x, square root of x is equal to 128 to the power of 2. So again, we have more square roots. We're going to do the same thing, take the power of 2 on each side. And we know when we have 8 times b to the power of n, this will be equal to 8 to the n times b to the n. And also when we have 8 to the power of m to the power of n, this will be equal to 8 to the power of m times n. Here we have x squared times, we can get rid of the square root of, so this is our a, and this will be our b. We can get rid of the square root, so x times square root of x. And on the right side, we can multiply these two, 128 to the power of 4. And also we know when we have the nth root of x to the power of m, this will be equal to x to the power of n m over n and when we have a to the power of m times a to the n times a to the o this will be equal to a to the power of m plus n plus o so here we have x to the power of one we know we have the second root of x so one over two so we have x to the power of one and x to the two so these are our m n and o and we have 128 to the power of 4. So our x on the left side is basically 2 plus 1 plus 1 half. So 1 to the 8 to the power of 4. And on the right side, we basically have, if we take the common denominator, we have 4 plus 2 plus 1. And on the right side, we have 128 to the power of 4. So x to the power of 7 over 2 is equal to 128 to the power of 4. So in order to get rid of this 2, we're going to take the power of 2 on each side of this. So that way we can multiply these 2 and we get rid of the 2. So x to the power of 7 over 2 times 2 and 128 to the power of 4 times 2, 8. So x to the 7 is equal to 128. We know 128 is 2 to the power of 7, all to the power of 8. And here we know when we have 8 to the power of m to the n, uh, we can basically switch these two because this will be both equal to 8 to the power of m n. So what we're going to do, since we saw the 7 on the left side, uh, we're going to take the 8 inside of the parentheses and 7 out. And now we have the same exponent. That means our x is 2 to the 8. So our x in here is 256. So yeah, that's the final answer for this one. Let me know if you guys have another approach to solve this. And you guys take care. I'll see you in the next one.